enjoying this. What's up, you guys? It's your girl, Fresh. And before I get into this video, I want to give a shout out to my brother who has a gaming channel called Fresh For Real, who just got to 250 subscribers, you guys. If you know somebody that's a gamer, even if you're a gamer or not a gamer and you want to catch some great content, some great commentary, go check out his channel, subscribe, drop an orange heart in one of his comments on a video just to let me know that you were there. All right, see you guys in the video. Bye. Top of the morning, middle of the evening, bottom of the afternoon. What is up, you guys? It's your girl, Fresh, and I am Press.com because you know I passed my CCHT, you guys. So, this is the video you guys been waiting for. This is my third time making this video, and yes, <laughs> I'm finna share with y'all my experience with the CCHT, my studying, the my take on the test, and um, yeah do this get it out get it out the way and i hope that it helps you guys i'm gonna try to help y'all as much as i can without you know i can't be giving away everything that was on the exam but anyway um so i'm going to start with the studying and how i study for the exam um i use material from when i first started working i never threw that stuff away and i kind of reviewed some of that i kept my um index cards from that time that i made because uh some of the definitions were the same that were on the exam or that were on the practice exams that i had so i just went over some of those um for as a refresher uh i also made index cards this time because when you write things over and over again it helps it to stick better um it helped you to recall things better. Um, and I definitely read from cover to cover my core textbook that they gave us during our um, style learning training um, process. I definitely recommend reading this book cover to cover because, you know, there are some things that are on the exam that you don't necessarily do in clinic right now like at my clinic we don't do buttonhole and so when i saw a buttonhole on my practice exam i was just like what the heck is that i don't know what is going on and i had asked my co-worker about it the next time i came to work and she explained to me what it was and i had just so happened to be going into that next chapter and then like um got a better understanding of what the buttonhole was and things like that so definitely read this textbook don't wait to the last minute. I kept telling y'all throughout the months I was studying, I would pick up my book, I would open the page, and then I would close it. and put it off and then I tried to wait until the last minute when I say last minute I mean like the last week before I had to take the test the week that I had to take the test um to start studying this book and I think that's what added on more stress so don't wait if you are at month like 9, 10, 11, or 12, start reading your book. Don't wait till month um, 16 or 17 and then try to do all of this. Do it early. Take your exam early if you can while it's fresh. And I think that would alleviate a lot of the, the stress and the anxiety. Um, Get some people that be praying for you too. Pray for yourself and be confident. I like I always say y'all in the comments, be confident with everything. Um, 
this actually people kept telling me oh this is you know what you know what this is stuff that you do every day on the job it really is everything that that's on the exam is stuff that we experience have experienced or might experience or we have been it has been discussed with us in the job um so that's a true statement i did have some like policy questions on there um but it's nothing that you wouldn't know. So definitely know your policy a little bit. Um, um, they are scenarios. So when I thought about scenarios, it made me think about, about, about when you were in school and you have that big old paragraph and you gotta go in there and figure out all this other stuff. No, it's pretty simple. The scenarios are kind of simple. It's like one sentence. This is a new patient, Miss Whitney Johnson. She's 48, she has a catheter, she this and that. And then it'll give you like four or five questions and that you have to answer regarding her. And they're just scenarios like, well, uh, this is her first time. She had a low blood pressure. What do you do? You know, stuff like that. Um, things that you would know or, you know, do you, what's your first response? Do you get the nurse? Do you do this? Or a patient has a fever of such and such, you know, things like that. Um, let me think of one of the policy questions. It's asked about if the state came in, a surveyor came in and wanted to watch you um, set up a machine, you know, what's the first thing you would do? Or, you know, how, how would you respond to that person? You know, things like that. I didn't have a lot of water room questions. I'm trying to think if I had any at all, and I'm blessed. I don't want to keep trying to give you guys examples of what was on my exam because there are so many different variations of the exam. I could have no water room questions, and then you have six or eight water room questions. I could have two phosphorus questions, and you could have eight. So, hence me saying, read the book through and through. Look over some of your old material. If you're a person that um, is a visual learner, write it down over and over again as you're going through. Write things down for um, for recall. Ask some of your teammates questions or have them test you. Um, but most importantly, do it ahead of time. Don't do what I did and wait till the last minute because I, when I tell y'all I wasn't sleeping well, I was stressing. I mean, I just, so much anxiety and once I took that exam and got out I was just like man I stressed out for nothing everybody was like uh yeah we told you you was gonna pass it you was good you was fine but I stressed out for nothing so um it is study worthy don't get it twisted but it is something that we all can do if you passed the first exam to get out of that stall learning class, you'll pass this exam. Um, it is 150 questions. Uh, it was computer-based. It was timed three hours. I think I finished mine in like two hours and 15 or 20 minutes. Um, and I think that was with me reviewing. You can like mark the questions if you wanna go back to them and review them. And I did that. Some of them I answered and marked, and then some of them I just marked without answering. And then after I completed the exam, I went back and went through them. But what I did not do was just sit there and play any, many, mighty mo. I picked my answer. I was confident in it. And I kept it pushing because the more you sit there and try to go over and over and say and keep changing your answer, that's when you're going to be wrong. And um, so don't do that. Do not do that. Um, I got a 105. Um, you needed a score of 95, which is 74% correct to pass the exam. And I did that. <laughs> Look at me. Don't mind my nails, y'all. I tried to be so cute and um, paint my nails. Look at me. I passed. Uh, I've tried to paint my nails last night. And then I started working today and it also started coming off. But um, yeah. So, again, it's passable. You can do it. I did it. And y'all know I don't lie to y'all. Study for sure ask questions to your team take it early if possible don't wait till you reach your month 18 because y'all know we get up to 18 months before you know we have to get put off work by the state to um take this exam don't put it off take it when you can be confident and um yeah if you guys have any other questions you know what to do drop it down below in the comments and i'll get back to you um be great Stay great.
go pass that exam. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.